Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to show you how to update your X Pro site to version 1.2.0. So right now you have 1.1.1 installed or something older, that's perfectly fine, you can update straight to 1.2. So once it's available, you're going to go underneath of Appearance and Themes and you should be able to see if there's an update which I have an update here. So you can update from this screen or you can go into your dashboard under updates. And once you go to the update section, you're gonna be able to scroll down to the themes and see that there's an update here. Let's go ahead and click on this and select update. While this is updating, I wanna make sure that you sh are in aware of that you should be doing this on a developer site. Your website should be completely backed up to the minute that you update your theme. Um, and again, it should be on a developer staging site. As you can see by my URL, I have this underneath of a developer um, subdomain that I installed an exact copy of my main site on. You should not do this to your live production site. Things can break. So once this is updated successfully, everything on your website should look the same. If you have any issues, uh, so fix those, go ahead. Um, as you can see, a little bit of a difference here from me up in this icon. Um, but if I navigate through the rest of the site, it looks like pretty much everything is everything is good. Uh, nothing, nothing wrong here. I wanna make sure my, my plugins are still compatible. Make sure everything's good. Uh, I just have to fix this icon here. See, see, there's a little bit of a difference there, and we'll and I'll have to judge that and see what the issue was there. Um, so once you're done updating there, you are 100% good. If you're updating with X, go ahead and update Cornerstone after you update your theme. If you're doing Pro, Cornerstone is bundled with it, so you don't have to worry about updating that. You can only get automatic updates through your actual backend of your website. If you have a valid license code underneath of your pro and overview, should say something like you're, you are validated right here on the right hand side. Uh, you should have green check marks. If not, it'll show a big screen right here with a spot for you to enter your license. You can go ahead and navigate to theme.co uh, and you can go to your profile, find a license and activate your site there. If you do not have a license, go ahead and purchase one from ThemeCo. If you don't want to automatically update, you can go ahead to themes and you can add a new theme such as uh, 2017 or something basic. You're not going to have it for long, so you don't have to worry about it. And then you can go ahead and install that theme and make sure that's activated. Now remember, do this on a developer website or a staging site. So now that this is activated, we can go ahead and delete Pro. And once that's deleted, we can go ahead and re-upload it by adding a new theme and hitting Upload Theme right here. From there, you can go ahead and get the latest version of the theme. right there and you can go ahead and upload that and once that is uploaded it'll be completely up to date so that's something you can do uh, on your development sites if you do, couldn't go ahead and activate your license and then you just click activate and you are good to go that's a hundred percent updated right here you got 1.2.0 uh, yours will not say RC1, mine just does because it's the release candidate, but yours will say 1.2.0. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys at the next one.